What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I would like to show you one of the most pleasurable and enjoyable decks to play. It is the Citron Amphibious deck. I really love this deck. The idea is to try to put a lot of amphibious minions on the board. The main card you really want to use is the Navy Bean. Uh, it's almost really worth mulliganing for this card at the beginning of the game just to have one on turn 4. Usually what you want to do, actually, uh, one of the most powerful cards in this deck is the Snake Grass. If you can use Snake Grass with one of Citron's powers that protect it, let's say on turn 5, you'll then make multiple Snake Grasses, and then you can use your Navy Beans to buff them up, and you can end up really having a board that is almost impossible to overcome if you can really pull that off. Uh, we are using some of the new set 2 cards in this deck, so particularly this environment. Uh, the Bog of Enlightenment will make your match your matchups extremely, extremely uh, good uh, in, these, in the lane that, uh, that you play this. Uh, we are running also the Laser Cattail, three copies of this. Uh, this is Amphibious Team Up. It can get really, really big when you start stacking more and more cards uh, in its lane. And we are running the brand new card, which is the Corn Dog, and this is a... Uh, card with actually really good stats. It's also amphibious, so it will get buffed uh, by the Navy Beans, etc. Anyway, this deck is pretty straight up. We're going to hopefully uh, find some good lanes to put the Leaf Blowers in. And uh, anyway, here it is. It's the Citron Amphibious deck. This is going to be a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoy. Let's do this. And uh, let's just get right into it here. I like the Brain Anders in this deck. <sighs> okay, this isn't that great in this matchup. There's this. I'm really looking for the dog. I do like these two. I think this is usually completely useless against the Smash. Just because he rolling stones it. Don't need two of these. Don't need two of these. Oh, Navy Bean. Oh, that got that got pretty good pretty quickly. I'm gonna keep the cattail just because it's a two. I don't want to be stuck with no ones and no twos. It would have been better really to get the dog. The dog is probably the best card against the Smash early or a Grave Buster. Uh, smash, yeah. I would like to make some smash decks. They are, yeah, kind of a novelty at the moment. I don't really have any, um, what did he say? Some kit set three? Okay, anyway, I'll worry about, I'm gonna worry about set two. <laughs> Let's take it one set at a time. I would really like to do the Snake Rask combined with, uh, Citron Super. Snake Rask is actually, anyway, really good against the Smash, who does not have a good way of dealing two damage, so. Maybe we'll play Snake Rask draw in four. Could be we'll wait till turn five and protect it. Let's see what happens. It's going to really depend on what happens these first couple of, of things here. The things. Let's just do some Smooth Talker. I'm going to go with a little bit quieter music. And there's Energy Drink. Okay, so if this matches up... This is interesting. If this matches up with the energy drink zombie, I think it's good. I'm gonna just develop the laser. I'm gonna put it on one of the ground lanes that is not here. Uh, the question is which lane to put it in. It really doesn't matter that much. The snake grass, you kind of want to play in one. I'm gonna put it in two, for lack of a better option. Let's see if these get matched up. If it does, it's fine. If it doesn't, this is gonna give us some good tempo and <laughs> they got matched up i'm kind of ha i think that's the best case scenario i think this this deck really starts on turn three uh, i think the pair will hopefully get a lot of value here Ooh, there's the dog could use that on two and pass Ooh. i'm gonna play dog spirus now this is actually a very good opportunity to do that um, I would like them to be in opposite ends of the board, just so we really would actually like to play the snake grass on, in lane one. So let's do it like uh, let's do it like this. Now we always could play the navy bean next turn. It really depends what happens here. Buffing these two cards with the navy bean is amazing. It means on turn four we'll have a three-three team up, a four-three. I guess this you know this lane didn't really work out, and a three-two, which is like. Really, really, you know, it'll put us really ahead if we play this. We're probably going to get greedy and play the Snake Grass. Let's see what our opponent does here. We haven't seen a power out of him yet. I feel like if he would have had Super, he might have used it there. And he committed. So, again, we could take this out by Navy Beaning here. Ooh, that's tough. That is rough and tough. I really would like to kill this. I don't know. Is this going to be necessarily going to be a problem? <laughs> this is not an easy play, actually. We could just go Snake Grass. The Snake Grass is quite a good play. And we could just do Navy Bean and Protect the turn after. Yeah, I don't know what. Since we have Protect in our, in our hands, 
Let's do this. Well, Navy being protected, and these snake grasses are just gonna totally take over the game now. We'll take the four damage. He'll kill the spires. I think this is worth it. All right, what's going on, chat? How you doing? Happy. I missed you guys. I was trying to answer some YouTube. I did upload one video while I was away. I was planning on doing more, but it was kind of crazy with all the traveling and everything. Never think. All right, slithery little snake. So it's gonna be it's gonna be navy being protect, and this is gonna be ridiculous. Look at this board right now. We're gonna have four three. We're gonna have like a, a, a whole board of four threes and craziness, absolute ins utter insanity. And this is such a good play. Again, we could keep this alive to abuse it with a pair cub later. We'll we'll use the pair cubs, you know. Is Sonic Bloom good? I, I I actually don't have that many. I'm planning on maybe grinding a couple of them tonight and making a deck, uh, hopefully tomorrow with the Sonic Bloom. Uh, let's see if I can get... I think I have two now, so let's see if I can grind a couple more tonight. I, this is actually my ten times here, so we'll be getting some tickets here. Ooh, Super and two wouldn't be bad, and four wouldn't be bad either. Dang, that's Super. Come on, man! Uh, wow, that's good. <laughs> this will make another slithery little snake. We're still way ahead, even though he got that huge play. Now, ooh, the bog. They will play the bog on the d the bog on the dog, bog, and let's see what happens here. In fact, we can actually use this. We can abuse this and just play a whole bunch of. That's interesting. Uh, okay. So the brain end is for sure not the play. Dang, I wish we could just play pair cubs right into the bog. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Okay, I, I think we're actually gonna keep this. Huh. Okay, we can only really play one. Well, maybe we should just go face. We could just go face. It's probably more reliable to do this. Don't mind really the dog dying here. We can really abuse this lane by putting pair cubs. In the future, let's not play one of these here. Oh, we play here maybe? Just to add dance, it doesn't hurt to play it in this lane. The thing is, what are we gonna do next turn? We're gonna, I'm actually gonna do this. I think this is worth it. It'll, it'll add an extra damage every turn to this lane. We're not really gonna use. So we can put a pair cup here next turn. Well, let's see what happens. Slowly, your little snake is gonna continue on. We really could go pair cup here. We'll probably get a cheaper card then. We have two bananas. The curve in this deck is pretty, pretty low. So well, yeah, we're basically guaranteed to get something that costs four or less next turn. Yes, the wedding was great. It was good. Nice girl. What's the worst set two card? Um, I don't know, I'd have to think about that. I'll take some suggestions in the chat though. What do you guys think is the worst set two card? <laughs> Total Eclipse, you think that's the worst? I think that's, that's it's actually pretty valuable. Okay, we got this. We could, we could sack them. We don't really need more cards, do we? I hope he just passes. We're just gonna bring Nana. <laughs> bring him out of this world again we can play just paracub here this will make a 4-3 for 3 which is great and <laughs> you can take care of your opponent's eclipses you can take advantage of them with this card oh this is garbage <laughs> the dumb ghost stupidest ghost ever uh, this is a lot of damage the smashing garg is pretty dangerous here there's no real way of preventing that though uh, let's do the advantage play. This dies. Go, Grizzly Bear! <laughs> Yay, a 4-3. <laughs> uh, we'll just take this out. Just, why not? Get another lane going. Cosmic Bean? Cosmic Bean might be good. I, don't li I like Cosmic Bean better than Cosmic Pea, because at least it works extremely well with Admiral Navy Bean. Um, I haven't really even utilized that in a deck yet. And not lethal. <laughs> Could have been. You never knew. Hey, another slithery little snake. <laughs> the snakes have just been unstoppable here. I mean, this snake takes out the cigar. We can just bring Nana in one. I think that's basically guaranteed lethal. Come on, man. Don't play a Octo in lane one. Whoa, that would be scary. Uh, hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Oh, uh, wow. That, that had some. It's a good brain, Nana. Good old brain, Nana. And both the slithery little snakes die. Well, yeah, that's guaranteed lethal. 
Because we're going to hit him for 7, and he's going to heal for 2, yeah. That's, there's nothing he can do. He's out of brains. Could have saved himself with Nibble if we had him pretty nano. The pretty nano is definitely the play there. Actually, wait. He's going to heal himself for... Uh, it's actually... Wait, he's going to hit actually twice with the nurse. So now he's going to be up to 5. No, but he rolled a 1. If he would have rolled a 2 or a 3, the first shot, he could have actually gotten saved there. But uh, now the lanes 4 and 5 are guaranteed lethal now. And I think playing that Paracup early was actually good, because I ended up adding some, some nice damage. Creating those threats. And we are 1-0. Boom. Shakalaka. Here we go. Here we go. Love this deck. This deck is really fun. I don't think this is the best deck in the set. Especially with set 2 around. But this is, you know, in set 1, the, the Citroen Amphibious was fine. And it's it, it definitely got some... But I like these environments. The environments are... The environments were kind of made for this deck, if you know what I mean. Here we go. A Rust Bolt Sports deck. I've tried that. I'm, I'm really trying to make a really good... I have so many ideas for Rust Bolt, but it's really hard to pull off. Rust Bolt really does have some uh, pretty clear weaknesses in this game. Uh, he does not have any amphibious minions. His removal is, is like, kind of the best and the worst at the same time. He's really weak against, you know, anything, any deck with things with three attack. Do I think that Dragon Fruit is OP? I think it's a very strong card. I don't think it's broken because it really, it's very, very expensive. Especially in the current meta that in set two, there's a lot of really great cards that are cheap and expensive that can take over the game early on both sides. And um, the, the fact it costs eight, it's super, super late. You basically only have to ramp up to it. That's the thing with Rose. We, we had some success with that, but I don't think it's broken. I think it's expensive enough to be balanced. I only like three. I think one Grave Buster against, especially against Boogaloo, I think is all right. This is fine. We'll keep the Pear Cup. Be nice to get a Snake Grass at some point. Let's see what power we get. I love starting with Protector Super. We did get Transmogger, which will be good later in the game. And again, this will this is gonna do a little damage. It will be a good lane to sort of play the Pear Cup against. And for that reason, I'm actually gonna do this. He really has two damage on us. We'll basically make it up next turn. It'll be a five to four on two shots, so... You know, the, the tennis champ leaving it dry is really not so bad. And there's the snake, so... I would love to see a gravestone here. It would just be good for our tempo. Yes. It's in the box. Kanga. Oh, that's a really good play, too. Man, that's a 2-2 two -two that removes our spires. That would have been really, really solid. Thank the Lord for Grave Busters. And I run just three. Three is conservative. I, I'm, I'm really trying to run four Grave Busters at all of my Guardian, just because it seems like the Gravestone, especially Pogo makes up Grave Digger, it's just ridiculous uh, in the meta right now. So we had room for This is a heavy deck, so we had room for three. Cosmic P is pretty bad. Um, I'm not lagging. It's my internet's fine, so maybe it twitches things, but it's probably just your, probably just your internet, dude. Oh, is the chat cut off? Sorry, I'll adjust it. There we go. And this is really good. <laughs> the Perico of here is amazing. So we, again, we can go... The Snake Grass really is not that good. Boogaloo is pretty good at removing it. Oh, he nibbled that. And um, so we might just go... Oh, that actually really makes the Navy Bean next turn worse. I hope our opponent just commits for four brains here. That would be amazing. Because then we'd be able to slithery little snake in one and follow up with this on five six Let's see what he does pass uh. what he's gonna do I really don't I really can't afford to play this yet I, I think let's I think let's just do this should I team these up this doesn't really hurt I'm gonna team these up plays around cake could be was just planning on caking this turn Maybe piano? Okay, piano. Uh, I'd rather hit the, I guess the bean. Either one's fine though, because you know, having the team up on the board, pretty good. Let's see if he commits something here. If he plays like a smashing garg or something like that, I would, I'm just, <laughs> oh, there's that. All right, he, but he did commit. That was a really, really weak play. So we're just gonna commit this right here. Um, slithery little snake. I could transmogger this, probably not worth it. 
We'll, we'll probably get it better. I and mean, he's gonna need some serious late game right now. And Boogaloo does have it, so. Oh, I got the Bog. Uh, right now, again, th this is actually. There's synergy between Snake Grass and Brainana. Snake Grass on five. Uh, you can seriously. Whoa, there's a couple of plays here. The Brainana will protect it from chickening. Now. We could mogger this and hope for the best. We also, if we if we play this bog, this will be reduced to again. So this will make our our guy will definitely kill it. We could mog this. I think because this is a this is a good enough play. We're gonna I think hold off on on this dude. This is gonna trade. We'll make another snake. I think the Mog, if, in case he throws an Octo Zombie or something like that a little bit later, I think it's really worth holding on to the Mog. Now, this, again, these are defensive plays. We're not going to be playing these yet. Um, I think that's good enough, and it will definitely, it'll buff the Snake Grass next turn. Oh, he could get, uh, now we got Dancers. Wow, he could have gotten a Lightning Power. He probably would have used it in one. That would have been a strong play. And he totally missed there. This little proc or block. Uh, protect should be fine next turn. I think I'm gonna go with this here. Having another play for next turn, I think it's worth it. Now we do have the Mogify to protect against some kind of strike through value here, so this is pretty well protected. And we have the Brainana, of course. These little one ones don't matter much. If he goes for a maniacal laugh, we have <laughs> this Brainana is gonna come in really clutch here. I probably. He's gonna need some field clear or something to take care of these snake grasses, which are out of control already. In fact, we can we can play the pair cubs. <laughs> we can play the pair cubs in both of these lanes if we want. Let's see what happens here. I might even just spirus pair cub here and then just mog something if he makes a big play or he plays like a nurse or something. Rank seven again. I rank seven doesn't mean rank seven though. It probably is not a brand new player. He's 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 definitely playing a, a pretty decent game here. It's probably someone who was about rank 30 and they got knocked down to 5. I don't really know how it works for that, but... There we go. Should Line Dancing Zombie be 3-2 instead of 3-1? No way. Line Dancing Zombie is one of the best cards in the game, actually. Um, supposedly, statistically, it, it was the card with the, with the best win rate for some, some period of time. I heard that rumor. Inside scoop. Uh, Curly sending me a beans doc deck. Welcome, Curly Ideas, to the stream. And I'll take a look at your tiny resolution. <laughs> it's like the Dank meme deck. This deck looks really fun. It's not going to be good, of course, but it definitely fits your personality. What can I say? It'll be fun. Um, banana Launcher. I'm sure Dylan. I haven't really used it. I, I think there might be some good decks with Banana Launcher. Anyway, um, here's you're sending me a Solar Flare deck. I'll take a look at this as the next game is loaded. So we have a smaller crowd. 300 people combined. It's not bad. Sorry, I'll take a look at this deck. Oh, what have we got here? Cosmos. Uh, the Cosmos doesn't do anything in this deck. I see you later. Mm, I will get rid of the Cosmos. If you're really running, I don't know why you don't have Mushroom Grotto. I think Mushroom Grotto is better than pa Paradise in this deck. This deck looks okay. It's alright. I would run Mushroom Grotto instead of Pear Paradise. Uh, let's see here. It'll just help you earlier in the game. So maybe Punish Rooms instead of the uh, Cosmos. Alright. This isn't really good against the Smash. Ooh, here's that. One, two, three. I'm gonna keep this. Maybe we should mulligan some of these cards to just get navy beans and stuff. I don't know. The Spirus ever good? Maybe the Spirus. Spirus is really bad against the Smash. I think I should have just gotten rid of it. Should I play it here? We're gonna save it. It'll be good later with something. Like I might pair cub on three and then Spirus bog on four. Nickel Cowboy. With brain freeze, oh maniacal, yeah. Well, we did that with Neptuno, where you just use. It's hard to pull off maniacal cowboy. Um, it's interesting. See, this isn't this is an okay play actually. 
I really could just play this. I don't really need to, take, to kill that thing. Let's do it like this. The dog is real. This plays around, um... I don't know. It'll play around something, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you can now recycle heroes for 12,000 sparks. That sounds like fun to me. Man, this man's going all out turkey on us. Give that man some turkey for Thanksgiving. The stuffing is real. Uh, well, it's just bog. If you're gonna get leftovers, you're not gonna get my corn dog. Happy Thanksgiving! Enjoy the corn. Enjoy the the leftovers. What is this? Gal, you know what? If he's using using a galvanize to kill a corn dog, I'm totally happy. Galvanize is one of the best powers in the game, by the way. Um, and he's using it. That's fine. He gets his leftovers. Enjoy. Enjoy. Ooh, great buster. Pet versus pet. Let's see what we got here. I'd like to develop some cards here. This is a decent play. Four damage in his face. Developing the bog. It's kind of always good. Can't leftovers unless he leaves over two. Let's just, he has a leftovers in his hand, so let's just keep track of that every turn he leaves two brains over. Um, Nebula and... I don't think Nebula is one of the best. Nebula is really... Nebula, I think, is an overrated one. Grotto, I think, is probably the best environment. So if that costed three, it would be a huge blow. I don't know how useful it would be at three, but... Maybe we'll be fine. What is he doing? He's probably gonna locust storm here. I think we just do this. It's just like this. I don't need to pair a cub. Can brain in an next turn. This way, if he kills this, he's gonna take 10 damage in his face. He'll be down to 3, so. This just really makes the Locust Storm pretty bad. Too slow. I don't know, his phone cats, I think he does sometimes. Why this deck? Well, I played this deck, but we had like a lot of disconnects and something like that, so I want to actually get some, and he has to, you know. He's forced to make this play so he doesn't die, which can serve, you know, it preserves our 6-5. If he goes for a trick next turn, it's game over, because we're just going to bring Anna him. We're going to be too far ahead for him to be able to catch up. Uh, we do get this. Now, where does this go? Is the team up? I think the team up's worth it. I want to do this for a card. I'm going to do this here. It's kind of good if our cards keep on getting messed up in this lane and stuff. Um, keep on dying, because then you can just keep on putting in more and you get the value a lot of times. So you don't really need to protect the card in this lane. We'll put something behind here. I hope we just see a pass. We're just going to bring Anna and... We'll probably bring that in three because we'd like the five damage to hit. <laughs> yeah. Good game, man. Good freaking game. So we, we should have lethal here. We have two shots. Um, I guess if he rolls a three the first time and gets super, then he'll be only down to two health. But this is pretty much lethal. Oh, <laughs> we rolled double ones. All the merrier. Got him. And for all those brain Anna haters out there, that is the power of that card. Dang, it's good. Oh, the YouTube. I forgot to change the YouTube title. My bad. Thanks, dude. What's it called? Let's run. Let's run. Okay, change the YouTube. Ramp Garg deck. Um, and that was actually the last deck I, I did. How did that go again? It went okay. Really, the one with the binary trickster deck was the real powerful brainstorm deck. The, the ramp decks are... The ramp decks, in a way, are still a joke. The one with Rose was okay, but the ramp decks are still a little bit weak. I wish the Sunflowers and the Twin Sunflowers would have more health. I think that's really the thing that would make ramp decks into a thing. Just, why can't Sunflower have, regular Sunflower have 3 health? Be a 0-3 ramping card. It wastes a card on turn 1 with a little nothing. 
But it survives. And then you get extra summon next turn. And then it dies eventually. It might make Solar Winds too strong. Okay, give them two health at least. Don't make them die so much. Alright, this is a Morticia I'll bring in. I might be really good. I think this is a fine hand. We did start with the Bean. I I'm gonna keep this. It happens to be Cattail on two. That's one reason why I'm only running the three Cattails. It's really not that strong of a play. Um, let's do this. This does not die to, uh, you know, summoning or bats or anything. No, again, I'm not saying it was horrible. I don't think the Dragon Fruit Ramp was a bad deck. I don't think that's the top. I don't think that's a top tier deck. I think it's more of a fun deck. We did go 10 and 0 with it, but I, I don't think I, I don't. I couldn't imagine myself bringing that deck to a tournament unless I would find some major improvement for it. Happens to be again. This is Immortisha, another hero without field clear and without a really good, without a really good way of dealing with a three two. So the snake grass should be pretty good. Um, I think teaming these up is worth it. We only have a turn three play. I get nibbled or something. I think this is worth it. It's really teamed up two ones in the water lane, which Immortisha anyway has a very hard time dealing with the water lane. She does have some amphibious minions but they don't really deal with like ch cheap cards unless it's you know snorkel which who runs that card nibble we'll take that out that's interesting i bet she's gonna nibble the second one because why would she nibble <laughs> she nibbled the word that i mean the spirus has this grows though oh, i don't like that play and we got a three that's good uh we can just do it just like <laughs> that's gross so now this is a three two if we would have kept the spire set that would have been a really weak card now this does six damage in this lane nebula so slow not nebula it's a uh, cryo anyway lark is sending me a deck sorry i try to catch up with the decks this looks like a good mid-range <laughs> This is okay. This deck is alright. Smashing Pumpkin is kind of mad. If you could find a better finisher than that, that would be fine. This deck looks okay. You start off with your Mushrooms. I would... Again, I would take out your the, 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 the three cost cards you're running and put in a bunch of Punishrooms. Definitely go for that. We could go with this. Wow, we could do this play. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. What is our opponent going to do with five brains right now? I don't even know. What is he planning on doing? Beam me up. I'm gonna play around beam me up, I think. We're gonna do it like this. Wait! Oops! I miscalculated the brain. I'm not paying attention. I thought it was turn five for some reason. I probably should just go with the snake grass. Little proc the block. That's okay. I, I just I wasn't paying I was paying more attention to the deck there than to the person. It looks like we're gonna win this anyway. We got six damage on deck out of twelve. I don't think, it, and we have a brain in also, which basically guarantees lethal here. I just, uh, I just brain for, but again, I, I don't know why I'm one off <laughs> for some reason. For some reason, I'm one off. Now we have six damage in both lanes. This one has eight. I think we're pretty, pretty much good. <laughs> Rockets, one of these cards. Anyway, the Immortician just didn't stand a chance. Didn't have good answer to the water lane as usual. Made a huge misplay on turn two. It was like a real joke, actually. And yeah, it's 4 now. That was easy. Despite our misplay. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm just paying attention to the decks and the chat and stuff, I just... Simple things like that, like how many... Which turn is it? You just... They kind of elude me. I will be opening up some packs. Okay, do what? This is a great time to stop. We're gonna open up some packs and do the daily challenge. Oh, you guys are betting? I I think this this deck will go nine and one. I think someone will beat this deck, but all right, we could go ten and two, ten and zero oh, though. It's definitely a candidate for a ten and oh deck. This is a this is a this is this deck's probably better than the Rose deck to be honest. All right, I did accumulate a thousand gems. It has happened. Uh, let's not get this one. Let's just get a regular set two galactic. What is this? Oh, it's premium. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do they eliminate every, all the real money ones from the store? That's cool. Anyway, galactic pack. Here we go. This will be an eleven pack. Packs midway through. That's right. And we'll do the daily challenge too. Dun 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 bum bum bum. 
It's packy packy time. Uh, I did do a Garg Feast Ram deck. I might put that on YouTube. It was it was enjoyable. It wasn't great. It wasn't a huge success, but it was it was kind of fun. Got some good Garg Feast. It's not a good deck, the Garg Feast Ram. I mean, unless there's something I'm missing, I just some combo that makes it amazing. It's so hard to have Nebula plus Brain Vendor plus enough brains just plus the Garg Feast in your hand. It's really ridiculous to <laughs> really rely on that top tier. Getting some rares. We're looking for those super rares and legendaries. It's in the box! Oh, nice. Getting some super rares. Cattail. Getting the deck we're using. Gladiator! Legendary! Ho ho ho! It's in the box! Oh yes! I actually don't have... I only have like one of these. So I'm really happy to actually see this. I don't think this is the greatest legendary. This might be one of the worst ones in the set, but I'm quite happy to see any legendary that... I do not have four copies of yet, so updated some decks and really, really happy with that pack opening. I'm gonna show you guys some decks like Zoo decks with Captain Cucumber and stuff. They're okay. Why not Dark Matter Dragon Fruit? It's too late. Usually, you're you know, usually these games don't last until turn eight. Usually, winning you're kind of like already won on turn. The Brainanas are better than the Dragon Fruit. Put it that way. These leaf blowers have been useless. I should probably get rid of those. I don't know what else we'll use. Maybe just jumping bean for removal. These just don't use removal at all since you have transmogrifying. I don't know. Okay, that's a little late. Wow. Did we do something earlier? Which one of these are better? Uh, ooh, navy bean. Nice. Super? Yes. Alright, so we got five, six. So we can go three. Let's see what happens. Don't have a turn one or two play, which you don't need. You know, this deck is a definitely a come from behind deck. The beginning of the game, one, two, and th eh. usually you start playing this deck really on turn three. Turns one and two, you just hope they pass and you pass and everything's fine. It's kind of even nice if they don't play anything sometimes to hoard your turn one and two cards, your one and two cost cards, just so you can sort of play them together with the Navy Bean later. I do like playing. Uh, you know, on turn 5 or 6, let's just see, even Spirus Na Navy Bean is a great play. How did I get the Corn Dog? Corn Dog is available early access. It looks like this guy's gonna time out, cheese out. It's time out for some cheese. It's a cheese timeout. Oh, give this man some cheese cutters. Ooh, cheese cutter. That's a fun card. I'm gonna do a cheese cut. I have a nice zoo deck with some of the Immortitia cards. Um,. It's pretty effective. Maybe there's a way to make it better. Triplication? Sorry, is this... Trickster OTK Valkybrid. I can... Okay, it's alright. I personally go for Barrel of Dead Beards and Firework Zombie. Uh, in the 2 and 3 slot. You don't have any environments. This is a, you know, a set 1 deck. Barrel, the Barrel of Deadbeards are pretty important. You're kind of very low on minions. Really, it's very hard to... I guess the... Yeah, I guess the what's it called. This is alright, actually. I think it works. I, I really do like the Disco. I don't think the Conga is good, though. I think you should take out the Conga and put in something. It could be Barrel of Deadbeards. It could be... Um, maybe even just some of the new cards, like Quasar, uh, would be good. Or, you know, even just, even just like... A, like Cosmic Scientist might be good because it is a minion which gives you min more minions. Hold on, just give me a second, guys. One of these is fine. What about one of these. I think Paracubs are good in this matchup. I have Cap on? Yeah, that's okay. Concede deck? What is this? Molecule. Looks okay. Good curve, hard removal, early game, like it. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Again, this is a great, you know, this is a great way to take, great card to take advantage with the pair of cubs. I kind of like having this on. This really does uh, sometimes protect the slithery snake, so we like having this. I really find that if you have this played in lane one, it's just from the experience of how these how these games usually play out. A lot of times you can stick a snake behind here or something like that. So, uh, okay, sumo kanga newspaper. Don't. 
not a lot of gravestones later. They could have like, you know, it could be a sports deck. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we should have saved the Grave Buster for the Rodeo. Eventual Rodeo or something. Ooh, you didn't read the rules. Play? Oh, the value. Take it. Bodyguard. Uh, that's that's again. I don't I don't think the bodyguard is is really good in this deck. Oh, there's protect. I'll be good with the slithery snake. Let's see what happens next turn. You know, there's a possibility we'll we'll just snake next turn, and then protect and do like this huge play on five. <sighs> wow. We can protect and navy being on five theoretically. I we'll wonder what that is. I really wonder. Navy being. I don't know. I, it's it seems like it's gonna be a sumo again. In which case, the slithery snake is not horrible, but. It's not bad. If it's not, the Slithery Snake is really good. We could go with this. I feel like this is going to be better later. Don't we have two snakes. Let's just do this. If it's not a sumo, this is amazing. If it is, he'll move this over and I'll take out the Arm Wrestler and this will make a good trade. It's 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 worth it still. He really could just go... Um, he's actually going to move the Walnut here. No! What? What kind of play was... Okay, so the Slithery Snake's not going to make things anything until he can... Oh, you plumber's that. Okay. Still, I am I I'm not a big fan of this play. And he rock he has to use rock wall now. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now this trades. This is now just a the two for one. <laughs> it's almost a three for one because he used to have the power of the sumo as well. So we can snake grass protect this turn. Should be just fine. Uh, we can do it here. And uh, this is basically invincible. This will bite the dust. Trade, create this for next turn, and we'll just we'll just start you know pouring on the heat, <laughs> pouring on the heat, and he chickening. So that is fine. Clank, partial clank. He's doing some heat here. I gotta watch out. But these these snakes are gonna be good. This snake will actually take this out because we're gonna grow it with this thing next turn. We need to start blocking, but if we're rolling all ones, it's gonna be hard to win. So, dog, we can go with the dog snake, we can also go with the cat snake. <laughs> we have cat and dog on turn two. Uh, not snake, uh, bean. This could be a battle cruiser. No, now it can't. Okay, it's a sumo. Helps. So, if we know this is a sumo. Uh, Team up here. Yep. Okay. Not a bad play. Um, you know, well at least one of these snakes will survive here. That's a okay. Venting a little damage. Cat dog. We're, we're still very much alive. I wouldn't mind getting Mog here. Actually, I, he doesn't have any plays for next turn. He has, first of all, no cards and also no lanes. This is gonna just feeding this thing. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Ugh. Could use an environment. I don't know about these leafies. Like, Jumping Bean would be so good here. Oh, well. Uh, these two? Yeah. <laughs> it could go like this. It could go here. Which one of these is better?
Let's do it like that. It's a good train. This will die buff this second time. The, the, you know, the pair cut in front of here is really powerful. This lane is like so strong right now. This is not a joke deck at all. This is a serious top tier deck in this game. It's not the best, not top, top, top tier, but it's not definitely not a... I don't think I would bring this to a tournament, but it's, you know, it's it's way up there. It's a passion fruit. <laughs> See, you're passionate, passionate about my... How do you call it? About making me into a deity. With heartburn? Oh. Uh, what do you do for heartburn? Take some Tums. Milk. Just drink a big glass of milk. Should help you. Or Tecta. It's the drug way of doing it. Infinity pay too much to win? And he concedes here? Don't concede. He, he disconnected. That's harsh. <laughs> this is pay too much to <laughs> This looks like a fun deck for, for person double eye. Infinity pay too much to win. Oh, I don't know if we count that as a win. We are ahead. We have a huge card advantage. Ugh. Okay, uh, for the sake of keeping it honest, I'm gonna count that as a win. Even though that's, you know. Uh, I think the leaf blowers are, are, are absolutely useless in this deck. It doesn't seem like. See, you want to play the leaf blowers on an opponent's environments too. I just. Is there any other way of remove, removal, though, if you don't play Leaf Blower? It's kind of our only removal in the deck. Hey, we can just go with Shamrocket, too. I, I think it's worth it. I don't think that's... Let's go with the... Let's go with the Shams. That's... That's probably... Okay. I really took out Shamrockets from this deck. I think it's worth it. Force field could work really well with the slithery little snake. I don't think it's gonna work though, because kind of have to play it dry and then. Eh. I don't think so. Ooh, two, three, four, five. I'll take it. That's a curve. That is a really strong, really strong curve, and I like starting off with the three two. Plus, this is again weed spray on this is then not so bad because it's just one card. Is that a Mayflower? Mayflower really does sometimes give you the late game necessary if they are able to control your snake grasses and stuff like that. It might be good. It could be the Mayflowers are no good. We just playing against all hardy heroes. That's one reason why, or like you know, three damage heroes like easy like like uh, what's it called, um, Boogaloo. But usually the Mayflowers are quite good. All right, here we go. Here we go. If he plays a gravestone, we'll front it because it will probably be a. Sumo, which we don't want this to match up with. Charge! And go. Where does this go? Uh, might as well do it here. We're going to probably want to protect something a little better later. This is really strong. Making a tournament sponsored by viewers? I don't really understand what you mean. Wow, galvanize. That's strong. Huh. Chipping away at the galvanized value. Wow, the Mayflower is actually totally negated here. I forgot about that. I wish this had been on the ground because then we could not get it with this thing. We could play this. Not bad. I think the Mayflower is still good. Um. It could result in just killing this. It'll it'll eventually work, I think. Sporticus. That could cool be better. That's protected. <laughs> Look at this guy go. Sorry, I uh, I put in the cool bean. I didn't like adjust this deck list though yet. Kind of used the wrong image there. All right. Let's see what happens this turn. So he's like, this is like a, might just be like a gladiator deck. I don't really get it. To protect the gladiator. This is when we could use one of these sham rockets if he grows this thing again. 
Dang, I wish I really he played that on the ground so I could take advantage here. Anyway, here's the updated deck list. What if he kills us with the gladiator deck? That would be good. Dun 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 We could go dog protect. We could dog protect here. Gonna kill this thing. Then get really greedy on this. Eh, this is fine. Let's do it like this. Go dog. Ha, ah, the dog lives now. Don't mess with the dog. And uh, it still trades, so it doesn't. Ugh, come on, man. All right, so we'll play another thing there, and we'll we'll knock it down with our environments, and everything's gonna be okay. Okay, that finally died. Now we'll start drawing some cards. This is a three-four, which is really strong. We have the anti-gravestone now. Uh, we can always bog here. Bog dog isn't a bad play. really might be the play. <laughs> we'll just get this next turn. Since it's a gravestone, I think it's worth it. Go, Cool Bean. Haha! <laughs> Don't mess with the Cool Bean value. And... Like this? <laughs> He's trying for... He's trying for area. Wait, where did he get this Tomb Razor from? Oh, he got it from his, from that draw a uh, draw summon a, a card, a history card, travel through time. He got that from. Oh, the dog always moves. I forgot about that. This draws us a card here. It's in the box. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, not bad, Mr. Pumpkin. Ooh. Ah. Uh, protect isn't bad here. Again, we don't have to. We don't have to bog. We just don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. This is actually a much better play, and we protect. Oh no! Wait. Oops. Ah, this is the wrong lane. Um. Well, that's eh, okay. I forgot. Now this is gonna die. I thought this would make a thing, but eh, who cares? Then what? We'll just beat him to death next turn. <laughs> Fry him, your son. Okay, my long lost son is here. And he nibbled that, and he camel crossed. Okay, I hope you're happy. Now, this dies anyway. This one's just gonna. Wait, okay, do you know what? if we environment here, this thing actually just bites the dust. Because it's getting two health from the environment. Let me block there. Annoying. He's up to 20 again. Whee! <laughs> he just. <laughs> he's lost all. He's lost all will to live. Another one bites the dust once again. And we're 6-0. La la la. Citron is 6-0. The unstoppable Citron. Well, I'm going to jinx myself. Intergalactic Warlord. It's a good card. Ooh. I'm Taco League. I didn't even realize. Did I rank up to... I must have ranked up to Taco League in the, during the stream. And I totally spaced it out. I was probably looking at someone's deck in between matches when I... Taco, we hit Taco League! Woo! I know there's there's plenty of people. Well, not plenty. There's I've seen a few people in Ultimate League. I've seen like three people in Ultimate League. I'm sure there's more. Huh. Turn two Nebula. Turn three Gargolics. Again, that's good. Then you can play a Garg. That's true, but that's such a specific combo. Because think about it. By turn three, you gotta have. First of all, you're spending a bunch of cards to do it, but you're also gotta have exactly Nebula. Gargologist. Um, exactly, Nebula, Gargologist, and then a Garg. You don't necessarily have a Garg if you have those two, so. You know. Oh. Mm mm mm. Ooh. Brr. Brr. Uh. 
Come on, this isn't that good in this matchup. Which one of these are better? Ooh, I like both of them. So much. We really got a mulligan for a navy bean or something. Which one of these are better? Or the pear cub. Okay, I think the pear cub's better. Oh, there's the navy bean. It was worth it. No! Oh, wow. That's when you need Spirus. Give that man a spy. Right in his wrist. Dang. Where does this go now? We're gonna play it. Question is where? Such a bad boy! Um. Found a counter to Pine Clone. It's called Firework Zombie. I know that's ironic, but that's the real answer. Where does this go? Okay, what are we going to do? If we dog here... <sighs> nah, let's do it here. Sorry! Another Navy Bean. Wow, this this play, though, if we would have had a Spirus, that would have really made a huge difference. If he has, like, another Unlife Dancers next turn, we are messed up. What's up, Malinky? I don't know if I made this game popular. I think I made the community sort of YouTube scene. I definitely improved that, so I'm happy I was able to do that. Ooh. Conga newspaper. Oh, I bet it's Conga. Conga, Conga, Conga. Huh? I'm very tempted. Actually, but yeah. Because the dog, anyway, wouldn't take this out. And that's the play. It's a Kanga. No, it's rats. Okay, dancing deck. Season only lasts a month. Yeah, that's cool. Fry, are you fried? I don't know. Am I? Do ya, punk? Alright. Ooh, we got a play. Uh, dog. We'll t take advantage of these later, but in the meantime. This is the play right now. This is the play. This is the play. We'll buff this up. This will be fine behind this walnut eventually. Uh, we could go with Slithery Snake. It depends how much he commits here. We could be able to just go with Pear Cub, which is great in lane two. And we're, you know, all caught up in that, so. Pharaoh's Curse. This deck is a mess. Just seems a little over the place, but if it works for you and it wins 75%, then keep it up, man. What's in this box? Got some incognito in the house. He committed three brains, which makes this probably bad. I think this is fine. Yeah, in fact, you know, it's possible we'll block, which would be nice. And then, you know, be able to play this and protect it. We Really playing this and Against Boogaloo, playing, playing this and protecting it is the way to go. It's okay. We might get that next turn. Let's see what happens here. This is Pi 4. Humongous card. It is so big right now. Ha! Oh. <laughs> the Spirus Brain Cool Bean thing. It's in the box! Bad mouth. Cool bean dog. Why not? Cool bean! Oh, is he gonna grow this? That's annoying. Dog! Love my dog. He's gonna buff the dude. Buff the juggler and the king. The cool bean really didn't add much value. It saved one health, which is something from our 5 4, which is about to grow tremendously. Incredibly. We'll have to navy be in this next turn. Protect! We protect our... Let's see what he does. If we see a big play, we're gonna... The protect is gonna be... This is the way you kind of build up your boards like this, and the protect ends up being amazing. It happens to be snake grass is even good right now. The snake grass will be good on turn 8 with a na navy bean. It's just we have a full board. The snake grass is not a thing. What is in here now? Kunga, kunga, kunga. And this is a 
Pied Piper. That's nice. Uh, we're definitely doing Navy Beam Protect. I guess we might as well do it in the water. 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 Everything grows. Let's keep it going. And what's the card we got? Brain Nana. Nice! Very nice to have that versatile Brainana play. If he tries to do something funny with some tricks, he's gonna get messed up. And this will, this can go face. It's the only thing he can damage this turn. Does he want to go one for face? Probably. And <laughs> the Pied Piper, the non-value. All right, I'll see you later, Peepsy lover. Thanks for stopping by. Fry is 17 years old. There you go. I wish. You, I, see, you're, you're so... <laughs> I hope you realize. Anyway. More Navy Bean. <laughs> no, There's nothing you can do. This deck just builds up so quickly from turn 3 to 4, especially if you can pair up, activate a pair up on 3, 4, 5, but usually by turn 6. There's, you're just so far ahead with the Navy Beans. Uh, uh, have I done? <laughs> 28. 28. Wait, oh, I ranked up. Oh, getting those gems. That's what I'm talking about.